Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways, I'm doing my walk around this time of day because uh, earlier today it was hot as like 84 as far as that goes. So I just didn't really feel like going outside at all. But as I kind of talked about the sourcing a couple of days ago because there's there's still that fire that's going on quite a bit because I I hadn't been keeping up with like the updates and all of that on the news so far. So that was the thing here. So in a way I feel bad about all the people who have lost all their things and stuff, you know. But at the same time I just feel a bit worried about if that's really gonna happen over where I'm at. Yeah. But there was a bit of like a safety precaution there because he had like this little I forgot what they call it, like a fire line or whatever it is, but if you've seen like the times when uh, I shoot like from the backyard and then there's like this little thing there on one of the hills at that point that leads to the backyard. So that's one of the things there. Yeah. But considering all of that, you know, the last time we had a a fire that was pretty bad, you know, it had uh, caused a lot of smoke and ash that it it covered the sky quite a bit as far as that goes and like uh, I had shared pictures of that on Facebook and Instagram you know how like this the sun looked all red because of the ash in the air you know so that was one of the things there and if I remember correctly it was and the last time that also gotten that bad was it was way back around like I think it was November of 07 I think that's what it was it was like the last time we had like a really bad fire that year that it covered the the sky around here with uh with smoke and ash and all that, you know, and at the time, you know, mom was over in San Diego for her job at that point, and, and there was also, like, a fire that was in San Diego, like, just quite a bit from where she lived in that apartment, so... Anyways, if, if I remember correctly at that point, it was just that, yeah, she would, like, be at the apartment for the, for the weekdays, and then she would come up to visit on the weekends, you know, and it wasn't until about 10 years ago was when she transferred to a different office and, you know, that's more closer by, you know. So, in a way, I, I'm not at liberty to at least discuss, like, the finer details about all of that there, you know. I think once, uh, mom retires and all of that, I'll probably discuss more about that sort of thing then. But not right now. So, anyways, um, considering all of that, you know, and it was one of the reasons why I was over in Irving, Texas at the time, you know, back about 
20 years ago at least. Yeah. So. Now I was like. One of the things I have to kind of mention about all of that there. So. Considering. All of that. And you know. I don't think I even really remember if there was any kind of fires like that in while well, I was living in Irving as far as that goes because of the fact that it gets very humid over there. But it's not like it was out of the realm of possibilities. You know what I mean? So, um... Anyways, I'm trying to think here when it comes to that. Uh, as I could have said before, there was like another story about that sort of thing a few years ago, but... But then it also reminds me of if anybody ever really uh, watched the show Doug... I think, if I remember correctly, but there were like two versions of Doug. So there was like the Nickelodeon version and then there was the Disney version of it. And I think in some ways a lot of people just had more of a preference towards um, the Nickelodeon Doug rather than the, the Disney version of Doug. But... There was one episode of, like, the Disney version of Doug where... I, I forgot the guy's name because he was... His name was never mentioned in the Disney version of... In the Nickelodeon version of Doug. But he was one of Roger's friends. He was the guy that had, had the curly hair and then the eye... He had two different kind of eyes as far as that goes. And his name was Ned. And at one point, I think he was picking on Doug for a lot, a lot of things. And then something happened where Ned's house had caught on fire and it burned down. And so Ned had to live with Doug for a while. And I don't remember the exact story there, but it was one of the other things there. So, anyways. I hate having to make this kind of short, but it was just... That was just one of the other instances that I could remember about, you know, house fires and all that. And then, you know, the whole thing with the race and atheist was another one where, where, where he had survived a house fire, but... in this was just caused by his landlord uh, or landlady not properly um, hooking up the electricity as far as that goes. And he had a friend who was a certified electrician and said that there was going to be a problem in there. And then, you know, the, land, the landlord and the... The son said, oh, there's nothing wrong, and blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, it was like that where the house had gotten on, caught on fire and all that. But I don't think it, I don't really remember if it was a total loss or it was just some other things there. You know what I mean? So, anyways. Not to mention the whole how, um, the steam ham hands. So that's another thing. So anyways, um, guess that's probably it. So talk to you guys later.